you used to write for Edge. I don't know if you still do. But in the last question, you wrote, what is the optimal algorithm for finding truth? I'm mm -hmm. curious to know, what is the optimal algorithm? I don't know that. So uh, in some sense, the uh, this is a question for, for um, people that work in artificial intelligence. In some sense, when you look at artificial intelligence systems, uh, there was a succession of ideas. And in classical AI, uh, people have been looking at problems like playing chess and constructing algorithms to solve that problem, mostly by hand. And uh, when they looked at new problems, they had to construct a new algorithm. And then we had this idea of finding more general algorithms that can work over a lar very large class of problems, general problem solvers. And there is the difficulty that if you have a description that is so general that it works on many um, problems, then the description is typically uh, so general that uh, it's too long for a concrete problem. It's basically, it takes too long to explore the space using this general description. You get an explosion of complexity. There are too many possibilities that you would have to look into if you enumerate them all with your general description. So uh, you end up needing um, and a targeted exploration of the space of possibilities. And this is what the current wave of AI is doing. It's lo uh, looking for algorithms that discover solutions for problems. So instead of implementing a solution for chess, we give the system a specification for chess, and then we let it explore the solution space, right? It's discovering uh, an algorithm to play chess using an algorithm that we give it. So we construct a learning algorithm. And uh, the next stage could be that we just uh, describe uh, an algorithm that discovers a learning algorithm for this. So this is meta learning. So we don't build a system that learns, we build a system that learns how to learn a given thing. Right, and, mm -hmm. and then the mm -hmm. question is, is this the generally best solution already? Or uh, if, if not, maybe we need to get one step above and we need to discover a general theory of search. Uh, at the moment, the uh, f uh, most uh, interesting class of algorithms a lot of people are talking about, or one of the most interesting ones is the transformers, which uh, look for uh, embeddings of um, features based on similarities over many layers using an attention-based algorithm. And uh, the fascinating thing is that the same algorithm that discovers structure and language also discovers structure and images. And now the tempting question is, is there an optimal algorithm that can discover structure everywhere? And that maybe is recursive in the sense that it it's starting to explore what kind of strategies of discovering structure are the best ones. And then it settles for those. Is there a, a universal recipe? And uh, I don't think that there is a hope in the sense to say this algorithm doesn't exist and humans will always be better. Because if humans are better than the algorithms that we discover, even the most general one, it means that humans are implementing a more general algorithm than the more general, most general one, and we can discover it, right? There is no reason why humans can do something that an algorithm that we write down somehow cannot do. We can also write down the formula for evolution, and we can, in the worst case, evolve the algorithms that we need to. And, and everything that we do is, in some sense, an optimization of brute force evolution, where we do a blind search. We do try to find uh, directions in which we can optimize the search. And the, for me, this question, is there this optimal algorithm to discover truth, the optimal learning algorithm? That would mean we can stop doing science because as scientists, we can only now execute on this algorithm. And of course, we can leave this to a machine now and we should go to a beach and surf instead.